Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Clinical Biochemistry by Dr. P.K. Prabhakar. Today I am going to talk about the management of monkeypox. So there are two different things uh, we are going to talk about. Uh, there is uh, one of the vaccines uh, which has been recommended by uh, FDA uh, for the use of um, uh, to uh, precaution, I mean uh, to protect from, uh, from the monkeypox. Actually, it is not a vaccine for monkeypox, it was a vaccine for a smallpox. There are some similarity. So that's why it has been recommended for monkeypox. So that we will talk about that vaccine and its name is uh, Gynoes. So it is marketed with the name of Gynoes. So we will talk about that one. And then uh, there are some recommended medicines. Again, that is the, not the actual medicine for the monkeypox. That was the medicine for the smallpox, which has been recommended for the monkeypox. So we will talk about those things. So first, uh, let us uh, know what is the monkeypox virus. Already I have a video on monkeypox virus and uh, there are uh, different things we have talked about. We have talked about uh, fatality rate, uh, spreading, transmission, symptoms, treatments, a number of things we have talked about in the previous video. So I will put the li link for the, uh, those video uh, in the description box. So monkeypox virus, if you will see, this is the rare disease uh, which is going to cause uh, infection by the monkeypox virus. And this monkeypox virus is the, belonging to the family of orthopox or, or um, orthopox virus, and which is the family of pox viridae. And this is the same family in which there are different viruses, which is already we are knowing, like variola virus, that is going to cause a smallpox. So this is also belonging to the same orthopox viruses family. Then we are having vaccinia virus, which is normally we have used for the smallpox vaccine development. We will talk about that one also. So this virus also belongs to the same orthopox viruses and the coppox virus. So these are the three common virus which belong to the same family. This monkeypox virus, it is a double stranded DNA enveloped virus which is going to cause monkeypox in human and other animals. Uh, in my previous video, I already have talked about how it is going to be uh, transmitted, what are the different symptoms. So this is a, a zoonosis disease. So it is going to be transmitted from uh, known primates, humans or the means uh, from monkey uh, to the human or uh, means uh, primates or non-primate uh, means um, human to the human transmission and or it uh, can be transmitted from the close contact from human to human like uh, body fluids, saliva, serum, uh, blood circulation. So through close contacts or the uh, Bristol's uh, water uh, secretions that can also transmit this one. What we have seen uh, in the previous video is there are two different kind of strains we have. One is called as fetal Congo strains, uh, which has the highest uh, fertility rate, that was roughly 10% mortality rate. And second one is West African strains, which is having a fertility rate of 1% only. So uh, those things already we have talked about. Now come to the treatment of this monkey pox, because uh, we, have, we are going to focus today only on the treatment for this video. So at this time, there are no specific treatment available for this monkey pox infections, but monkeypox outbreak can be controlled, can be managed, it can be slowed down by using some kind of medicine, some kind of vaccines. So there are some antiviral drugs uh, that is called as smallpox antivirals like some of the examples are uh, Cidofovirs or Brincidofovirs or Tecovirimat that can be effective because actually this is, these are the medicines which is uh, commonly used for a smallpox and this has been recommended for the uh, use in the monkeypox also for their treatment. So, uh, Brincidofivir or Tecovirimat uh, has been approved by uh, United States FDA, a Food and Drug Administration for a smallpox as well as monkeypox viruses. These agents must be reserved for the managing cases and the severe, uh, especially for the immunocompromised individuals. Now, one by one we are going to talk about. First, Cidofovir. What is Cidofovir and how it going to works? So, this is a Cidofovir which is going to be a uh, brand name is VisTD and uh, that is an injectable antiviral medicines primarily used in the treatment for cytomegalovirus uh, retinitis this is an infection caused in the retina for the people for the hiv patient or the aids patient so in that case uh, this is going to cause it cytomegalovirus infections because they are opportunistic infections so cytomegalovirus is going to affect infect the retina and going to cause retinitis so there normally this is going to be utilized used the active metabolite of pseudofovir diphosphate that is inhibits viral replication by selectively inhibit viral DNA polymerase. So this drug which is going to metabolize into uh, pseudofovir diphosphate and that is going to block the DNA polymerase of the virus. 
so ultimately virus replication is going to be inhibited it also inhibits the human uh, polymerase but this action is 8 to 600 times weaker than its action on dna polymerase it also incorporate into the dna uh, viral dna and hence inhibiting the viral dna synthesis during the reproduction so ultimately this is the structure of this pseudophobia so actually this pseudophobia is a virus replication inhibitor which is going to block the viral dna polymerase and also uh, normally inhibit the human dna polymerase but their speed is their um, means efficacy is very very slow so that is how its pseudophobia works then we are having second one is uh, brin pseudophobia uh, this is the structure of this one actually this brin pseudophobia which is going to be sold under the name of uh, tembexa and that is an antiviral drugs used for the treatment of smallpox this brin pseudophobia is a pro drug of pseudophobia what is pro drug normally uh, we are going to take certain medicines uh, which initially when we are going to uh, take it that time it will be not in the active form or active molecules but as soon as it is going to reach into the target or reaching to the uh, our body inside then it is going to be metabolized and be converted into the active molecules so this brinsid of weed is actually it is an inactive molecule or you can call it is a pro drug once it is reaching to our body it will be converted or metabolized into pseudophobia so this is the pro drug which ultimately after metabolism going to give us the actual drug molecules and that is going to work this uh brain of uh, this is going to be conjugated to the lipid compound the compound is uh, designated to release pseudophobia intracellularly inside the cells because it is going to be released inside the cells this pro drug will be converted into the pseudophobia inside the cells so it is intracellular concentration availability inside the cells will be very high compared to the plasma concentration of pseudophobia because inside plasma we are having brain pseudophobia this is going to be inside the cells and converted into pseudophobia and their concentration will be very high of for pseudophobia compared to plasma effectively uh, increasing its activity against the double stranded dna virus as well as the oral bioavailability will be increased so this is brain pseudophobia now there are some common uh, properties for this one because there are no data available for the effectiveness of this both of these drugs uh, pseudophobia or brain pseudophobia in the treating human cases of monkeypox so we actually we don't have any information we don't have sufficient data so that we can come to a conclusion uh, because if you'll see uh, till now means uh, as of today as of may 29 uh, 29 22 about 828 different country including usa united kingdom that is scotland uae spain switzerland sweden sudan uh, slovenia portuguese portugal netherlands morocco mexico malta iran italy israel finland greece germany france uh, ecuador denmark czech republic canada bolivia belgium austria argentina and australia these are the 28 different country which is having the cases for this monkeypox viruses now uh, worldwide a total number of uh, potential cases which has been found this in this 28 country is 456 only so the available data indicate that the average patient's age is 30 years and because it is male also are going to affect more, uh, more frequently in the childs so we don't have sufficient data at one place so that we can come to a conclusion however both of these drugs have proven efficacy activity against the pox virus into in vitro and as well as the animal studies it is unknown whether or not a person with the severe monkey pox infections will benefit from these treatments either antiviral or through the use of the any such instances so we don't have sufficient scientifically proven data but we are going to expect because uh, this is a small pox uh, these are the antiviral drugs against a small pox and both are belong to the same family number of structural components number of enzymes are same so it may work against the uh, monkey pox virus also brin pseudophobia may have an improved safety profile over the pseudophobia and the side effects which is going to be uh, occurs in this case that is serial uh, serious renal toxicity and other adverse effect have not been observed during the treatment of cytomegalovirus infection with the brin pseudophobia as compared to the pseudophobia so this is the uh, their safety profile then if we'll see the third third kind of category of drug that is uh, ticovirimat this is this is the 
orally available small molecules which is active against the orthopox viruses this is the structure of this compound and this uh, tecovirimat is an inhibitor of viral p17 protein and blocks the ability of virus particle to release from the infected cells means what we call it after the assembly of virus inside the host cells virus is not actually released outside the cells so cells are not going to be burst and it will not release because it is going to block this protein and this protein is necessary for the releasing of vi matured virus particle from the host cells uh, nci uh, thyrus uh, trichomavirivirant is an orthopox virus vsv17 enveloped wrapping protein inhibitor you can see here so according to this uh, dictionary this is an protein in wrapping protein inhibitor and for this one effectiveness also against the mox monkey pox virus we don't have any sufficient data how it is going to work in the human cases but studies using the variety of animal studies species have shown that the this molecule is effective in treating orthopox virus induced disease we don't have a specific data for the monkey pox virus for this category of virus we are having some of the data so that is the hope that it will work against the monkeypox virus also human clinical trial indicates the drug was safe and tolerable uh, with only minor minor side effects now come to the actual vaccine what is the vaccine for this monkeypox which is the approved by fda that is zoonosis smallpox monkeypox vaccines uh, this is a vaccine which is live attenuated vaccinia virus this vaccinia virus also belong to the same family as we have seen earlier so this is live attenuated vaccinia virus but this virus is a modified vaccinia ankara virus and which is incapable of replicating means it is once it is inside the r cells also be, although it is live but it is not able to replicate inside r cells so it is uh, incapable of replication inside the cells but it is having sufficient activity so that it is going to elicit the potent immune responses and both type of immune responses it is going to activate cell mediated also and humoral also this uh, modified vaccinia ankara uh, is cultured in chicken embryo fibroblast cells and then it is going to be placed into the serum free medium and it is purified and filtered from the cell using different methods using the uh, benzoneage digestion method that is one of the method by which it is going to be purified the name of this uh, drug this vaccine it is called as a smallpox monkeypox y vaccine that is live and non replicating it's marketed with the name of zoonosis and the manufacturer is variant nordic as this vaccine uh, in the uh, european country it is going to be uh, marketed with the name of imbanex in the canada it is not uh, marketed with the name of imbamune was approved in 2019 by fda and by european medicine agency in 2013 so it is going to be used in european country also and as well as into the different other country also i uh, mean this vaccine can be given for all the person who is above the 18 year of age and older uh, or means 18 or more than 18 year of old and older it meant to be at high risk of smallpox or the monkeypox infections this is the only fda approved non replicating smallpox or monkeypox virus for non military use also and the, this vaccine has been uh, is going to be given into the two dose vaccines which is going to induce both cellular activity as well as the humoral immune responses so both type of activity will be activated by this vaccine this vaccine is normally given subcutaneous injections only and it is going to be taken in two doses that is 0.5 ml each of 28 days apart means first zero day uh, first vaccine and second dose will be on 28 days this is administered as a live virus that is non replicating and people who receives this vaccines are not considered vaccinated until they are going to take both the vaccines so means both the doses is compulsory to be treat them as a vaccinated people typically severe adverse reaction also uh, known for the replicating vaccinia virus strains such as myocarditis encephalitis generalized vaccinia or eczema vaccinum these uh, side effects are normally for any kind of replicative vaccinia virus strain but because this is non replicative so these type of uh, signs and symptoms are not developed in any cases who has taken this zoonosis vaccine so these side effects has not developed in the clinical development program so these are the some of the uh, treatment strategy some of the medicines 
which has been recommended by FDA or uh, different other agencies or vaccines uh, for the monkeypox treatments. So this is all about for today. Uh, hope you have understand it. If you have any query, any comments, you can write in the comment box. If you like the video, you can press the like button. If you are not subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe it. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.